right, so this is my PlayStation 2 Fat. And I got this MX4 SIO. And you don't really need one of these to run games on a Fat because you can have a internal hard drive. And I have one installed with an adapted network card and an SSD. But I did find a use for this, and that's to run Homebrew. And the new W Launch Elf supports this and EXFAT. So I'm going to use the MX4 SIO to update to the newest version of OPL since it's supposed to be faster than USB. And I'm not going to insert it because the new W Launch Elf seems to like it better when you insert it once it's booted. So I'm going to wait on that. Alright, so I made a shortcut on my dashboard. I'm going to start the new W Launch Elf with MX4 SIO support. If you're on GitHub, this is what it looks like. It says ISR at the end. And you want this version. If you have a FireWire port, and if you don't have a FireWire port, you want this version. Alright, I started the new MX4 SIO W Launch Elf. Now where I put mine is MC0 in the apps folder. Right here. And that's what the download looks like. And it's self-descriptive. You know, it says EXFAT MX4 SIO because that's what it does. But I don't have a USB installed right now. But you can see if you go to here, it says it's blank. But watch when we push this in. I'm going to go put, put the MX4 SIO in. I already put the new OPL in this. Alright, now that I activated the card and the SD, and now that we're back into the W Launch Shelf, and I click on Mass, it shows my files that I had loaded in. And real quick, this is kind of a weird thing. When you go back out, look what it says MX4 SIO. So it just changed from mass to MX4 SIO. So that's like, I don't know if it's a bug, but it's something with the beta that's kind of bizarre. But anyhow, I'm gonna go into here, go down to the new OPL. I'm gonna mark it, hit R1, go to copy, back out with triangle, go up to the free McBoot memory card, hit O, go down to the OPL folder, that's where your OPL is. And you gotta delete the old one. If you don't delete the old one, it will not update your OPL. So you just hit R1 and then go to delete and hit OK. And I'm gonna hit R1 again. Go to paste. See, it seems like it's taken about just as long, but it is supposed to be faster. The bus on the MX4 SIO is supposed to be faster. Alright, now that the new OPL ELF is in the correct folder, we're going to test it. And just to show you, I know it's dark, hopefully the camera will adjust. Yep, you can see. There's no USB thumb drive, this is just a cable. So I just used the MX4 SIO to upgrade to the new OPL. Now to get out, if you're ever in WLaunch Elf, you just go to Miss, and then down at the bottom hit OSD Sys. Alright, now I'm going to test the new OPL. Alright, I hit Start to go to Options and go to About. And you can see it says Beta 2012. So OPL has been updated, and I'm going to hit O to test a game, and this game I'm obsessed with here, it's called Michigan uh, Report from Hell. I'm going to see if this starts correctly off my hard drive. Alright, everything's good. The new OPL, Beta 
2012 is working. And if you haven't updated your LPL, you should. There's that less stable version is really old. It's like years old. And it's not that hard. But yeah, check this game out. It's cool. You're like a reporter. It's a really unique game. And you follow around all these different stories and try to figure out what's going on, who killed who. It's like a survival horror kind of. But yeah, I just updated OPL using nothing but MX4SIO. So you can use it, even if you have a fat. <laughs>